So we are going to measure barometric pressure and this is the barometer that we use in the lab. So the first thing is that you need to notice is there are two scales. Um, this scale is in inches of mercury. We don't want to use that. We want to use millimeters of mercury. You could use inches of mercury if you wanted to, but for our purposes we'll always be using millimeters of mercury. So on this side we have a millimeter of mercury scale. Um, it starts at around 650 and then you can see 700. So most of the times in the 407 lab the barometric pressure is going to be anywhere between 715 to maybe 735. So this is a mercury barometer so there is mercury inside. Um, based on the pressure in the room if there's a higher pressure the mercury will be further up. If there's lower pressure the mercury will drop down. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to lower down this top part until this bottom flat piece sits on top of the mercury meniscus. And the best way to do that is to lower it while you're looking at the white background behind it. And you want to make sure that you're at eye level. You drop this down until it is fitting just on top of the mercury meniscus. So if you're looking at the white, you lose the white. Uh, if you're a little bit shorter, you may want to step on the step stool that's here, but it should be at eye, light, at eye height. So now if you look at this, you'll see at the bottom, there's a line that lines up with the bottom of the piece that we're moving up and down. So that is what we're trying to measure. So we're looking at that very first tick and we're trying to find out what is the barometric pressure in millimeters of mercury for that first tick. So as we look at that right now, we're looking at that first tick. Um, I need to use the magnifying glass. So right now it's telling us that it is approximately 737.2 or 0.3. So by looking at that first tick, I can get the whole number and then I can kind of estimate what the decimal point will be. This top is called the Vernier scale and it allows us to determine exactly what the decimal point will be. So I'm looking at that and I can estimate that it's about 737.2 or 0.3. Now if I look at my Vernier scale, I can see that the number 3 is lined up directly with the line across from it. So again, the way the Vernier scale works is only one of these numbers will line up directly with the line across from that. So I look at that, my number three is lined up directly with the line across from that. So that gives me a barometric pressure of 737.3. So that's the barometric pressure, but it's also the barometric pressure at room temperature. Um, if we want a corrected barometric pressure, we have to account for pressure. Uh, or for temperature. So the way we do that is we use our temperature correction sheet that we have here or a chart. So I know that the room temperature right now is 21 degrees Celsius. I know that we're just below 740 millimeters of mercury. We're between 730 and 740 millimeters of mercury. So if I was to interpolate, the number would probably be about 2.52. Uh, this is only good to one decimal point, so when you take your correction factor, you only want that to be to one decimal point. So we know it's 737 millimeters of mercury, so if I look at my correction factor, it's probably about 2.52, so I'll say that my correction factor is 2.5. So I then take my initial value of 737.3, I subtract 2.5 from that, and that is the corrected barometric pressure.